So you got your HoloLens. <clears throat> what can I say about the HoloLens? It is completely self-contained. It's got the computer, it's got the memory, it's got the processor, it's got the Wi-Fi connection, it's even got a little web server in it. It's got everything that you need right out of the box to get working with it. It's self-contained and it's completely wireless. There's no external graphics cables, but the graphics processor is completely inside of it. The um, it even has a little web server on it that you can use to connect to the device, control the apps, deploy apps, start up, shut down different applications, manage the battery, change all the settings. It really is an amazing device. There's a big difference between what this does and what you normally think of as virtual reality or even augmented reality. Microsoft calls it mixed reality and I I get behind that. It's mixed reality. With virtual reality, whatever the device is, the rift, the gear, the cave, whatever, it takes you and it puts you into an immersive virtual setting. So you lose your sense of surroundings. You lose your connection to the real place that you're in. You become part of that virtual reality. Mixed reality takes virtual objects and puts them into your real space. The HoloLens, um, you can think of it as being a computer, except instead of having a monitor, your entire environment is um, your desktop. You put windows on the wall, you put icons on different places, it knows where the floor is, it did. Um, this becomes the workspace that you work in. So when you're working with the HoloLens, the space around you sort of becomes your desktop. I can do this motion here to bring up the menu. And this motion where you start with like the loser sign and you touch your fingers together, that is a click. You can also click and drag, but those two, those two gestures are what it understands outside of the box. Now the HoloLens is constantly scanning its environment. And I can tell by the cursor whether or not it's found a wall and whether or not it recognizes my hand. When my hand's not up there, it turns into a little dot. When my hand is up there, it turns into that circle, and I can see that the circle is sort of aligned with that wall surface. The Holograms app comes with it. It's one of the few things that does come with it. And it's got this selection of little holograms. Some of them are animated, some of them aren't. I pick the one I want and I look at the spot where I want it to go, pick again to place it, and now I can adjust it and move it. Um, and you can see the recording capability of the HoloLens is pretty good. Now, the field of view that I'm seeing in this recording is a little bit smaller than what the uh, video capture is getting. The video capture is probably recording everything that the room sees. Hey, Wilder. But the field of view that I see is uh, probably about the size of this box held a few inches in front of my face. So that's probably the biggest downside of it. Developing for the HoloLens, currently we're doing it through Unity. So the workflow is a little bit different from a regular Unity sort of application where you're just using Visual Studio to um, edit your software and make changes to your code. With the HoloLens, we use Unity to set up the scene and then Unity exports out a Visual Studio project. That's where we do the rest of the work. Visual Studio actually does the building and deploying of an application to the HoloLens. Once the application is deployed, it shows up in the start menu. Oh, what we're seeing here sort of represents the main window of the program. But because the program runs in what is the holographic equivalent of full screen mode, once it comes up, it overwhelms everything else that's in the desktop space, which is a pretty good way to get used to the idea of a holographic environment. 
This is a hologram in full screen mode, so I don't see the rest of my desktop. The rest of my desktop being the environment that I'm actually in. You do have to completely jump into the Windows 10 bandwagon to get on top of it. It only works with Windows 10. Windows 10 is the best development environment. Um, you need Visual Studio 2015, update two, currently. Um, the SDKs and the tools, there are many of them that you need. And the, uh, they are frequently updated. So it's the kind of thing that you really want to stay on top of. Long and short, if you're not a developer, if you're not interested in developing stuff for the HoloLens and you bought one of these, you wasted $3,000. If you are a developer and you're interested in developing stuff for the HoloLens, this will be the neatest little lump of black magic voodoo you've ever put in your hands. 